Storytelling is a vital and vibrant part of Aboriginal culture, but with the shift to a more technologically focused society, there is a danger that youth become disengaged, elders become isolated, and that this culture is lost forever. At Coomadidgee United Aboriginal Corporation on New South Wales South Coast, Auntie Lorraine Brown and co have partnered with Beyond Empathy to embrace technology through their Capturing Culture project. The project brings together Coomadidgee elders and youth to capture and bring to life through animation these important stories and wisdom. We decided between a few of us here that we wanted to create a program that brought in our elders and getting the kids to work with the elders because there's a lot of um, technology today that's taken the kids out of their culture. So it was important to start bringing them back and start teaching them to learn to respect it and to keep it going. Because if we lose it for the younger generation, then it's not there no more. And it also gets the elderly out of the house and connecting with the younger generation where they can learn some of the, today's new technologies from the kids by doing this program. Yeah, because the kids are very savvy in that one. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a vice versa thing, so the kids are learning from the old way and then the kids are teaching our elders some of the new ways. Do you know any local dream stories you can tell us? Well, the first one that I learned about was about whale and the starfish and how the animals came to Australia when they were beings before they became humans. Bringing out a dreaming story that we're using and the kids are going to paint the story and tell them one of the local dreaming stories. So it's keeping all the cultural things that we want in it. And when they go on country, we've got some of the, there are other elders that are further down the coast that are, are connected to these kids. And they're going to take them on country and let them have a yarn to, to the elders about certain foods and stuff like that down, further down the coast. Some of the questions were asked to the elders like, what did they used to do? You know, some of the things that they used to do when they were young. So that, that's also brings back the memory of the elderly people that don't get to talk about it much. You know, sitting dormant for a long time mm. unless someone's talking to them. And not all of them have got someone to go and visit and sit down right. with. So it's bringing them out of the house, it's keeping them, their minds active and also connecting with the kids, teaching yeah. them some of, the, some of the old stuff that they used to do, you know, mm. always. So it's getting back that respect for our elders and to learning to acknowledge their, that their knowledge, and because a lot of kids today are all technology and a lot, of, a lot of our elders haven't got that in them, that technology. The Capturing Culture project will culminate in a public exhibition in mid-2016. In the meantime, if you want to stay up to date with the project, you can check out the Kumadichi United Aboriginal Corporation's Facebook page.